Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Mario and today we are going to make a keto friendly cheesy taco meal. Stick around. So I had a credit on Amazon so I decided to buy this 8 inch tortilla press. Um, I'm not going to use dough in this recipe of course because it's not keto friendly. I'm going to have my fat head dough we're going to press out on this, and I saw a couple of fellow YouTubers use this. I'll put their links in the description below. And uh, so I'm going to use this to do such a thing. It's pretty straightforward. You have a handle and a press, and you're just going to pull the cotter pin, connect the handle, but I'm going to wash it out, and we're going to make a couple of tortillas. So I got my fathead dough here. I'm not sure how many tortillas I can make with this, but I'm just going to cut it in half. And uh, we'll see where that gets us. I did warm this up a little bit in the microwave. But looking at this, I think it's going to be too big. But we'll see what happens. Now, Mr. Jack Payne would tell you to get uh, some thick cutting board material. You know, the clear plastic. And cut them to the diameter of this. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to use some of these round parchment papers. Now, I wish I still had the ones without the holes because it would have been better. Because I don't know what will and won't stick to the surface, but I'm going to place this underneath. And if I need to squish it further, I'll use Jack's idea of uh, that thick. Okay, so we got our dough. Pop that there. Parchment paper on top so it doesn't stick. Easier cleanup. And actually, that's not too bad. Now, this is a true 8 inch uh, press. Some of them say 8 inch, but in reality, they are only 7 and a quarter. Now, the nice thing about this is I can uh, now put this in the air fryer, cook it in an oven right on this parchment paper, or I can uh, cook it in the skillet. Put another piece of parchment paper down. There we go. That one's a little bit bigger than 8 inch. In fact, this may have trouble in the air fryer, so I may skillet this one. So I got the smaller one. I'm going to put that in the air fryer. And I'm going to put this in there for some weight because I have a feeling this thing's just going to take off from the air and the air fryer. So there we go. Let's get this in there. I'm going to bring this down to about 330. Going to put it down to five minutes maybe. And we'll check it. Now I don't know how well this is going to turn out. It did start cracking probably because it was a little on the thin side. But we'll see how it turns out anyway. Okay, here's the larger one, and I'm going to turn that upside down. It's peeled off pretty well. There's two reasons I want to cook this in the pan. Well, really, probably only one is I want to see if I can just manage to dirty one pan with this whole meal. I don't know if I'll be able to, but I'll be curious to see. Okay, we got two minutes left, so three minutes into it. And I could see that it's browning up nicely on the edges. I'm going to see if I can't flip this to get the other side a little more cooked, and then we'll be back. Okay, this is brown enough. Let's see if it can manage to flip or turn this without it getting too destroyed. Honestly, I don't know how successful I will be. I may have to slide it off this and then onto another pan and then flip it back over. There we go. Now, I don't know how well this bread is going to hold up. It looks like it's falling apart. But in any case, we might be able to make a, a taco pizza with it or something like that. All right, that one actually looks pretty good. I'm going to leave it at that. Okay, I got some lettuce here. This can be for topping or a garnish on top. Just going to cut this up into little pieces. I am going to take the moisture out of it after. I'll put it on a paper towel and let it dry out. Another thing I want to do is some may not want the keto fat bread. So I got some uh, big pieces of lettuce here that uh, I'll dry out and this will be like a taco shell. Also, my brother was telling me about some of these uh, hybrid lettuces where it's a uh, romaine uh, iceberg uh, cross and it makes these big pockets it almost like, like a big Syrian bread cut open. So that's another alternative. So if you don't want the fat bread because you're trying to save your uh, points or your carbs for later, then you can do that as well. I also have some uh, green onion here that I'm going to keep. And again, this can be garnished or mixed up in the whole thing. Should have grabbed a better knife. So I have this new brand of sweet Italian sausage. I still got it at BJ's. This is a Gianelli. But uh, I tried one yesterday. And it is sweet Italian sausage, but it does have a little kick to it. 
So I'm going to do what I normally do, or just started doing, is I'm going to slice this open so we can take the sweet Italian sausage out of there. This casing's a little bit thicker than the one from BJ's. And these are also larger, more expensive, yada yada yada. Sausage number two. Someone's going to cringe the way I'm using this knife. I hear you. I'm doing the sausage first because it's not going to create as much grease and then I can take it out and do the ground beef. I have both these. This is for, you know, mashing up the ground beef. But I still prefer the spoon, but some people get all freaked out. Oh my God, he's using a wood spoon. Contamination. Well, we've been using wood spoons forever and I've never gotten sick from anything I've made or my mother's made. So as long as you wash it, you're... We'll be back as soon as this is done. Okay, this is basically done, so I'm gonna take this out of here and we're gonna start with the ground beef. Halftime show, below in the description, you will see links to my Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest accounts. Uh, please join, you'll see what I'm up to on a regular basis. Uh, also, I have links in the description for anything I use. Now you can just click one link, it'll bring you to my store, see everything I use in the kitchen, in the wood shop, things of that nature and also please support some of these uh, smaller channels like mine uh, Kirby, Lassie, uh, Jack I get inspiration and ideas from these guys all the time uh, Kirby's on I think he does a, a breakfast probably every week um, Lassie he's been kicking it with these keto recipes like it seems like every day or every other day and they look awesome um, you know, Jack, he's giving me ideas. He was the one who uh, gave me the idea for the, you know, that big uh, donut burger inside an onion wrapped in bacon. That thing was awesome. Uh, you know, and I got the idea to get the press from, from him and someone else as well. And again, please patronize these uh, smaller channels. Uh, just getting the likes and the and the uh, and the interaction really helps them and drives them to want to put out more content. Let's get back to the video. Now, before we start with the ground beef, I have a couple of different kinds of diced tomatoes. I thought I had some Rotel diced tomatoes, but I don't. But uh, you don't have to put this in the mixture. But I want to show it to you now because things will start to happen fast once the ground beef is done. They both have about five uh, grams of carbs, you know, but that gets uh, negated one point for the fiber. So it'll be like a net four, and plus it's for the whole mixture. So unless you're going to eat this whole thing, which I probably could do it if I really wanted to, but I just want to show you this. Also, some people will put in uh, cream cheese and sour cream directly in the mixture. It almost looks like a, a refried bean. Um, I will probably keep the sour cream for the top, but I'll probably put a little bit of this in there for some flavor. I don't like cream cheese, but I've become... So I guess like it because it's more of an ingredient and not an actual food I'm eating. So I picked up another five pound of uh, ground beef from BJ's. It's in a tube or as Johnny G would say, tube meat. Um, this actually has a high fat content and I normally wouldn't use this for tacos, but it's what I had. Normally I would go much leaner. I think this is 73%. So I'm going to break it up as I put it in the pan because it will be much easier to break it up now instead of trying to do it with a wooden spoon or spatula. Okay, the ground beef is just about done. Um, this is high fat content, so I am gonna drain some of it out. I don't need that much fat in it. Uh, I would, again, I would have preferred to have had the inner stuff, but I'm gonna drain out the grease and then we're gonna continue. Turn this down a little bit. Okay, got the ground beef. Gonna add the sausage back in here. going to add those diced tomatoes in here. Again, if you want to save your carbs, go ahead and do it. Or not. Remember, it's five carbs for that whole can, well, net four. So, I'm also going to add some uh, green peppers and onions. Again, they have natural sugars, so that is going to add to it. But, again, we're not eating the whole thing. It's We're just going to have one serving. This probably make eight servings anyway. You don't have to put a lot, little a lot. And if you're not on keto, you can make this too. You're just gonna use uh, regular uh, tortilla bread. I'm gonna let this cook up a little bit. It smells really good. 
you know what I decided to add the cream cheese this is just two ounces we'll see how it looks I might add more come to think of it you know what I'm just gonna add four ounces because I have it okay everything's starting to incorporate nice one thing we got to make sure we do is you want to use taco seasoning this is my own and the reason why I made my own I'll put a link in the description as well as a little link in the corner here I make my own because the store-bought ones have added sugars and so forth and I know what's in this and I know there are no carbs this is enough for about two pounds of ground beef the sausage already has some flavor so I'm only putting half it smells so good I don't know what it looks like on camera to be right now I mean you're probably looking at me strange with the uh, cream cheese and I would say about a month ago I might have agreed with you but after I started having the fat dough to make my pizza and my calzones and hot pocket type things I think my mind changed and I'm trying to keep an open mind with the keto I've been in the diet for 53 54 days now and I just hit over 30 pounds weight loss and you know the peppers and onions you know I need to have vegetables in there um, you know usually any green vegetable is okay so lettuce is okay uh, peppers onion onions are okay too but remember all of these in general are gonna have uh, you know natural sugars and therefore carbs so this is more like a treat you can see all this blending in nice together so we're gonna cook this up a little longer because the onions and peppers need to you know cook up a little bit more and incorporate same with the tomatoes you know heat those up nicely yeah this looks this looks good probably I could have even if we put more cream cheese now the sour cream you could put it in now but I think it'll make it look nice as a dressing on top of whatever you're doing otherwise you could definitely put it in now but I am not okay this is about done but I do want to take a little bit of a taste hopefully I get a, a little bit of everything in there I don't know if you can see that I don't know how it doesn't look like some masterpiece right now but it, it smells amazing I've got a lot of flavor. All right, let's get going to the next step. Next step, we're going to add some cheese. I have a little bit left of this BJ's brand, but the craft was on sale, so I picked that up next. So I'm going to start with this cheese. You can also just use cheddar cheese if you want, or any kind of cheese really that falls into it. The category of things you like. Add some of the craft cheese on this. And this is cheesy. What's the, so one carb, one gram carb per serving. And the serving is a quarter cup, and that's a lot. But again, this thing is like eight servings at least. This is more, when I make a pound of ground beef for tacos, it actually lasts us for two taco nights. So, I can imagine this is going to last a long time, but I am looking at this and I'm like in wow of how it looks. Okay enough cheese there <laughs> okay cheese is pretty much melted it's still sizzling the stove has been off just gonna garnish this with some uh, lettuce and you don't have to garnish it on top this is just again for looks maybe a little green onion well, not maybe yes indeed green onion and again the sour cream is op optional I usually buy the container but the container expires in a month where this is two months now I, I I'm just going to put this on so you can see the effect of what it looks like. Well, that doesn't <laughs> quite look appealing like that, but I assure you, it's going to taste great. Okay, I'm going to scoop some of this out. Maybe right here. And give that a taste. There we go. That's really good. It's got that nice little bit of the cold sour cream oh yeah this is good but this is not all give me a second okay here's my uh, I'm gonna call it tortilla shell I want to get something that has a little bit of everything in it I'm gonna pop it right in here I still don't know if this is gonna hold up it may fall apart we'll see it's too bad I didn't leave some ground beef separate to really do a comparison, but here is the bread. It is breaking apart a little bit. I show all my errors.
That was hot. Hurt my finger. But that's good. Oh yeah. Now there might be an alternative to the fathead dough that I did here. There are other probably better possibilities. the results. You know what? Before I finish this, let's do one other test. Let's say you really want to go out with all low carb. You could have skipped the, you know, the onions, the peppers, um, you know, not have done the fathead dough, not put it the tomatoes, whatever. But there's your lettuce. Let's grab some of this. Let's pop that in there. It's got everything in there, so I don't need to put anything extra to dress it up. Now, we taste this one. Ah, uh, here we go. Probably can't see that well. Now, maybe you don't want to deal with making fat head dough, you just want to break out a skillet or something. This is perfect for that. Lettuce has a nice crisp. And you know what? It's still good. I like it better with that fat head dough. Don't get me wrong. to say I am really pleased with how this came out it doesn't look like a rock star in the pan you know I mean it looks like a mishmash of a few things but it's really good and I'm, I'm happy I saw this now this isn't an original idea by me I've been hearing people talk about taco pizzas and, and taco skillets and stuff like that so I looked at a couple of them and this is what I do for my own you could substitute anything you want and the great thing about this is you don't have to be on keto to enjoy this. I'm willing to bet that there's plenty of people who will say this and say, that's keto. I can do that, you know. Um, and as I've mentioned, as of today, which is like 54 days, I am like 30.1 pounds down. 30 pounds. That's a lot. Uh, I'm going to buy, I have to buy a new t-shirt sooner. I have some old ones that are a little smaller. Uh, not because, uh, not only because they're too big on me now, but... Uh, the new dog has been jumping up on me and uh, he's poked some holes in some of them. So no more expensive t-shirts. Um, I'm going to put links in the description to everything down there uh, for the videos that I reference for the fathead dough. also put little tickers up there you can click so you can uh, see some of the videos as well. Uh, <clears throat> I have to say uh, I'm looking at things and I get inspired. Um, so you would do me a favor. Uh, you know, in the description will also be my Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest accounts. But there's a lot of people I pull inspiration from. Uh, I'm going to put uh, them in the description. Anyway, I hope you stuck with me and I really appreciate you being here with me this journey. And this uh, journey is actually uh, called Fit at 50. I'm getting close to the big 5-0 and my big thing was to get fit, uh, to get in better shape. I'm walking more because I'm taking the dog out and I want to be able to keep going and keep losing weight and get back to where I was happy many, many years ago. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing, hit the notification bell so you know when I'm putting out a new video. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot.